What's in a name? If it's Simpson's, it's a department store that opened its doors in 1872. Robert Simpson built a retailing empire, keeping one step ahead of the competition. When Eaton's put in one phone about 1884-85 and said you can now phone in your orders to the store, Simpson's put in two. And when Eaton's had a mail order catalog, Simpson's brought out their own and uh, Eaton's did very well with theirs, right across the West in particular, Simpson started giving away free samples. Back in the early 50s, when Simpson's entered into a joint venture with Sears, there was a clause written into the agreement prohibiting Sears from locating a store within 40 kilometers of Simpson's. That made sense during Canada's retailing boom, but it doesn't anymore. I think a lot of people are gonna miss the Simpson's name. I can't believe that they're doing that. The Hudson Bay Company is giving up seven stores and the Simpsons name. Sears will take over the Bay stores that have been dropped in Canada's largest retail market, Metropolitan Toronto. There's a lot of people in this uh, country, particularly in Ontario and Toronto, who will be saddened by it. And we're saddened by it because it's one of our founding members. None of the retail outlets will close and no one is going to lose their job. But the name Simpsons won't be forgotten. I miss Simpsons. I don't know why they need to change the name because, you know, it's been a part of Toronto all my life. So why, why change the name? The name Simpsons is gone, but it won't be forgotten. Dave Wren, CTV News, Toronto.